The markets have been severely shaken over the past few weeks. Saxo Private Bank's Tice Knutsen gives his take on what went wrong. I think it's fair to say that the past weeks have been very dramatic in the sense that if you were not positioned correctly to begin with, you never had a chance to really uh, put your positions in place. Uh, most of the decline in the markets happened within three days uh, and they were really sharp declines. On top of what is a fundamental adjustment, there was clearly also technical issues, particularly on that specific Black Monday with the ETF markets coming under a lot of pressure. Um, so technical issues contribute to, to the very massive declines. And since then, it's been really nervous. And don't think it's over, he warns. You can argue that there was a fundamental introduction to this correction. So it was natural for markets to come off particularly driven by concerns over China. But the correction has been so deep that it cannot be justified by fundamentals alone. That's why I come back to the technical issues as well. The direction was fine, but the depth of the correction was just too much. And since then, I think a lot of people have been scrambling to, to get an overview. Where are we going now? Is it a global, reaction, a global recession? Uh, is China going under? What's happening with the Fed? Have they lost all credibility? These are the questions that I keep hearing again and again and again. And I think that's really what's playing as, a, as an introduction to what's going to happen in, in the fourth quarter. So given this increased volatility, how is Tice playing the market? I think it's fair to say that on a fundamental level, the domestic economies of both Europe and the US are looking fine. Uh, there's an in increasing demand in both Europe and, and the US and it's quite obvious that these two very important econ economies are working. But on the other hand, it's also pretty clear that the global manufacturing cycle is slowing. And that's causing a lot of concern for investors. So you need to balance these two. And if you move into a period with higher volatility, you would argue that you want to reduce your overall risk levels in your portfolios. So volatility has been extremely low for a while. It's probably going to be at a higher level going forward. You would very well end up being overweight equities, but the total amount of risk you want to run in your book should probably be a bit lower than it has been. I have been reducing volatility over the summer or reducing some of my equity exposure over the summer, not because I don't like equities, but because I thought the risk inherent in those positions were too high.